hey, I want you to listen to Dave Ramsey's take on what he thinks is fueling all this inflation that's going on right now. You're going to love this. Everybody's talking about the Fed raising the Fed rate uh, 75 basis points, three quarters of a percent of interest. And the Fed, of course, did this to stop inflation, to slow inflation. This is weird. Okay. I don't know, understand. Well, I do understand because it's political crap. But here's the thing. Okay. If inflation is caused by, and there have been times in our history, where the economy just gets booming and just the economy is just on fire, it's just burning white hot. And if inflation is caused by that, a rise in interest rates will slow inflation. The inflation that we're currently experiencing were, was not caused by that. It was caused by gas prices going through the roof because Biden stopped domestic oil production. Because he's trying to be a greenie. It's a problem. Inflation in this case is caused by Biden bucks causing paying people to not work. Consequently, they didn't work. Consequently, the ones that were working charge more. So it takes a $30 or $25 an hour person to put bread on the shelves now. And you used to pay them $10 an hour. And by the way, the price of bread reflects the cost of labor. So the disrupted labor market by government's interference caused this inflation. Oh, we had a supply chain disruption because mm. of pandemic. This caused this inflation. None of those things are affected by interest rates. Raising interest rates by the Fed did absolutely nothing to stop this set of inflation. So do it more, they said. Well, they're, they're at the wrong party and they came late. I mean, the, that's the idiots in the so government. you're saying we got energy, labor, and supply chain are the real problems. And none of those are impacted by interest rates. Mm. None of them. None. I mean, you know, the gas prices are not the result of interest rates. They're not. The white-hot economy wasn't, there wasn't, well, it was white-hot in places. I mean, we had real estate booming. We had some other stuff, shortages and stuff. But the supply chain disruption was running labor, lumber prices up. Lumber's back down 33% this month. So you get ready to build a house, it's 33% cheaper on lumber than it was this time last year. Mm. Okay? So the, the, the inflation is correcting itself, and yet the Fed raises interest rates. But everybody's panicking and freaking out about this. The great news is, is that it doesn't do much of anything, except probably further drive us into a recession. Because this is slowing the economy down. They're slowing the economy rates. down, which was already slowing down and heading into a recession. So we're getting ready to have something fairly unusual, which is inflation during a recession. It's un- that's a fairly unusual economic thing because yeah. usually the two are somewhat connected. In this case, because the, the, the speed or the velocity of the economy was not the cause of the inflation, you can actually have inflation caused by, you know, a, a horrible domestic fuel price policy or fuel supply policy, right? So Biden is straight up causing that, that sticker at the pump. I did that. He, yeah, he absolutely did that. Okay. He did not cause the supply chain disruption. That's not his fault. The Republicans are going to blame him for it because they want to get everybody that has a D in front of their name out in, in the fall. But he didn't do that. It's not his fault. Okay. Because he does, he can't control supply chain. The president doesn't have that. But, but he can influence the Fed, and the Fed apparently is dumber than a rock. Of course, we kind of knew some of these things. Because they really, they used the wrong tool. They came to the wrong party, and they were late. So what is the solution? If you're if you're the Fed, what's your move? Just sit. The best thing you can do in a capitalistic economy is let it correct itself. It'll it'll heal itself faster because it's people acting in their own best self interest. And it'll heal itself faster if you let it run its course. Let these supply chain things run out. Do anything you can with policy or with regulations to smooth it so that they can the stuff can get on out of the ports and get in people's stores again. That's what caused it, right? So the government screwed that up. You know, you got billions of goods sitting on the seas in the, uh, you know, in the port at L.A. Billions of dollars sitting there for months, and that's all just stupid butt government regulations. That's all that is. And so if you you could smooth that out, but you can't fix that. You have to let it fix itself. The labor market, if you hadn't been throwing money at people, begging them to vote for you, then then you wouldn't have had the labor market disruption. It would have just, it, it would have, but it'll, it'll straighten itself out if you quit throwing money at it. And they have quit, I think, for now, throwing money at it. So it, it all would be okay, but they've just exasperated every And bit there's of this. a vicious cycle there because yeah. as things get more expensive, you got to pay people more in order to afford it. And so it keeps Well, and, and see, what, what's happening is now 
with the economy slowing down, with a recession, it is receding two quarters in a row of the gross domestic product, which is the measure of all goods and services, the GDP. Two consecutive quarters of it being smaller is the definition of a recession. So the economy is slowing down. And guess what happens? Those companies, they're not selling as much. That's the definition of an economy slowing down. And guess what happens when they don't sell as much? Layoffs. They start laying people off. And guess what happens? They don't have as much profit. And so Wall Street looks over there and goes, you're not as profitable. And stock's down 20% since the first year. Now we've got a bear market to add to this mess. And it's all because these doobers won't keep their fingers out of the pie. Just back off, bozo. Let the thing do its thing. That's all you got to do. The economy is a magical thing because it's a bunch of individuals all acting in their own best self-interest, long-term and short-term, and people have generally pretty good thoughts out there. So the raise of the Fed, what's it do? Uh, it's the cost that one bank loans money to another bank. It's the interest rate. So the interest that banks charge is going to go up. Oh, wait a minute. Credit cards isn't going to go up because it was already 18%. How much They're not going to raise go? it to 18 and three quarter. Okay. So what is going to go up? Mm, car loans. They'll be more expensive. Student loan. Which is. Interest you know, rates could go up uh, as well. If, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're currently sitting with, if you're not going to go borrow money on something other than a credit. I mean, if you've got a student loan, it's fixed. If you've got a mortgage, it's fixed. Even if you've got a car loan, it's fixed. But if you're going to go buy a new car, it's probably going to be a higher interest rate a month from now than yeah. it would have been four months ago. And if you've got an arm But we would have told you not to do that anyway, stupid. You don't borrow money on a car. You pay cash for it. Okay? So it doesn't affect Ramsey listeners because you don't have credit cards. You're, bet you're paying off the debt that you've got. You're not going to go to a bank and borrow money. The Fed rate does not cause mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are caused by the bond market. Now, it influences it. We There's likely a relationship will there. typically mortgage rates follow the Fed rate, but it mechanically is not connected. It's simply what banks loan to another bank. It's the wholesale cost of money between two banks. And so it doesn't cause mortgage rates. Mortgages are packaged together and sold on the bond market. So whatever the bond market is doing is what drives mortgage rates. But it usually follows it. And guess what? A bear market, stocks going down, generally what happens to bonds? They go up. Mm. So that's going to actually help maybe. Wow. Offset is a very complicated thing. Thank you for but this here's crash the thing. course. The point is, none of you need to panic. Just sit back and watch the circus. Well, 